Thank you for stopping by and checking out the latest PSA. Um, thank you to everyone who responded on my last PSA with Lug. Uh, thank you for the coming back welcome. That was really sweet of all of you and I, I appreciate that. So here I am again because it's just too good. I got a package. And if you've seen the title, yes, it's an unbagging of Vera Bradley, which uh, I have to tell you, it's been quite a few months since i purchased something from vera bradley um honestly it got to a point with all these patterns coming out all the time between the outlet and the signature store i i think i was a little uh dizzy there for a moment and i needed to pause and take a breather and rest <laughs> and that i did and uh yeah and on top of that i also kind of got into lug again it's like a you know a bouncing back and forth between lug kipling and vera bradley right that's that's how i roll so i'm back into the vera bradley because they just recently not too long ago i think boy this actually this order came very very fast uh unlike lug and if you're lug nuts you know what i mean <laughs> but anyway this order was from their last online outlet sale which took place I, last week and um and lo and behold it's here it got here in a matter i think this order got here in about two two days or three days so yay for vera so anywho so i got a, a a bag here it's just a few stuff not a lot i'm surprised it came in a bag because normally from what i remember um most of the stuff came in boxes now the bag is not so bad i can tolerate that and it is a pretty strong bag but it is prone as you can see to these um obviously these holes and that kind of makes me weary because we know vera for the most part is cotton fabric bags and although they are in their plastic it makes you a little nervous especially uh come winter and you know when it's snowing and raining it's like ooh. so anywho but um yeah it's it's a pretty strong bag no less minus the hope because i tried to yank it open and i can't even i can't pop this open so i definitely need uh scissors for this so let's get to the um bagging because i'm very excited i'm very happy this got here uh from what i remember it's four items i think it's four items and one of the bags i remember is a tried and true bag which has been around and will always be around um so i got one of those bags in this pattern and i was drawn to this pattern because of the color and also because of the versatility of the pattern like i felt this was a pattern that can go with a lot and i really wanted a pattern that i can do that so that's why i opted for it oh and yes and then a solid color too that also caught my eye all right so i'm pulling out the um the packing slip it is for items and nothing was more than i think the biggest um cost was 27 to one to one of the items and the least expensive was eleven dollars and twenty cents so it was a pretty good deal all right so let's dig in i'm just gonna pull it all out of the bag Ooh, goodies goodies all in plastics perfect all right let me put this over here and these are the four items that i picked up and you see the black yep all right so what i'm gonna do we're just gonna i have three items in the same pattern one item is completely different and it's something new i've seen it before it's actually from this is actually from the signature store that happened to be on the online outlet sale because sometimes they'll do that they'll take some of their items that you will find that were or still are in uh vera's out uh, vera signature uh stores and they'll put it in the online outlet sale which is good because it's a win-win for you and for me so that i did all right so this is the first item 
that I grabbed. And yes, more pink. I mean, who doesn't love pink, right? So yay for that. So let me see if I can show you right here what that is. And you should be able to see that. That is the crossbody sling. And I was like very intrigued by it because um, I have slings. I have the mini sling and I have also some other bags that, you know, you wear sling style. So I was very comfortable with it. But this is in the uh, cotton, reimagined cotton. All right, so let me pull this out of the bag and see what we have. And of course, this comes in a lot of other colors, but I picked this one because this is the one that was on the um, on the online outlet uh, website. And look how pretty that is. That is a beautiful pink color. Actually, the name of this color is, and let me see if I can find the tag. Let me show you the tag. Oh, here is the tag. Okay, so the color is Rich Orchid. So that is the color right there. And it retails for uh, $60. And that's the price you will find on the signature side. And I got this for, it was on sale with the discounts. I paid $19.60 for this. So that was a good deal. So this is really, really cute. It's very interesting. It's a really nice size, which I will note the size for you um, if you're looking for a sling. And um, the first thing I do notice, let me take off the strap, which I do like, is that the strap is a um, sort of like a cotton fabric-y strap. It's not, like, it's not that car seat nylon strap that we see a lot. This one is a cotton, which I really like because I think it'll probably hold onto your shoulder more so than say um, anything slippery, but it's gonna be crossbody. But yeah, I really like that. Um, interesting design. So it's tacked on this side right here and it's tacked on pretty well. And then on this side, you sort of have this going on, uh, which as you can see, it has this little D ring here, which you can obviously use to place, uh, hang your charms or maybe even hang like your hand sanitizers or anything like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, Lug has also these um, pouches that I have that I can hang on here as well. I think I have one in blush pink that might even match this. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. And then moving to the back, I'm gonna start with the back of the bag. Uh, this only has this slip in pocket right here. So this pocket, which really comes up to like right about here. So um, I would say two thirds of the bag. And I imagine this is for your cell phone, uh, if you wish to put it in here. I mean, it's probably meant for your cell phone, but if you don't want to use it for your cell phone and you'd rather carry it inside your bag, that by all means, or you can use the front pocket which it has. But yeah, so it has this and it does have the uh, interior lining which ooh, look at that interior lining I like that is so pretty of course we'll see it inside here as well so the inside of the zipper has also that interior lining which is so pretty let me give you a close-up so you can see very very nice and the pocket itself it's not a big pocket it gives the illusion that it might take the entire bag but it doesn't actually it's actually this uh, actually where the seam is yeah, that's where the back, no, actually it's shorter than that seam. Back comes right up to here. So right up to here is the zip, the pocket, and then it comes right to the end of the zipper as a pocket. So this would be very ideal to put your cell phone if you wanted to, I, I will put your uh, cell phone in there as well. And it has the, um, the fabric as, as a zipper pull and the zipper is in that same monotone uh, zipper the color, which is really, really pretty. This is such a rich color. I think this is such a pretty bag. All right, so let's dig into the inside. The inside, and which is the main compartment of this bag, the zipper is the same, it's that same color as well as the one on the side with the zipper pull, and it does close very nicely, and it opens nicely, and let's see what's inside in here. And this is the inside of this bag. That print is so pretty. 
very pretty pattern. That is as girly as it gets. I, I really like that print. Really, really cute. So on this side of the wall, there is two slip-in pockets, as you can see. So you got two slip-in pockets here. And then on this side of the wall, you have, uh, oh, uh, actually that's paper. Okay, this has, does it have a zipper? Interesting, I don't see a zipper at all. So, ooh, that's very interesting because it has no zipper. It is just a plain old, I can't even say plain old because the pattern is pretty, but it has no, no functioning pockets or anything like that. Uh, so I really want to make sure because I'm very surprised, no. Which in a way makes sense because this wall actually is sharing the wall of this pocket. So if you did have a zipper on this side, it would just interfere with everything that's on this side. So you know what, that makes that makes total complete sense. So you have, that's why you have the two slip-in pockets on this, um, this side that's on, uh, facing, uh, leaning towards you, which is cool. All right, so it's an adjustable strap and, and let's try and see what it looks like. Now, I like to wear my bags from left side to right side. So this bag is going to be, it's going to prove interesting because it has the pocket, the cell phone pocket on the right side. So if I put this on, let me just move the chair back. This is what it looks like. I'm keeping it shorter than what I probably will wear it a bit longer, but it's going to be, see this pocket is going to be kind of hard. For, well, I could, you know, get my phone if I swing my bag this way and I'll be able to get the phone like that. But it's, it would have been nice, better for me because I like to wear it from left to right. If the pocket was on the left side of the bag, then I would have been able to reach into my phone. So with that being said, because the pocket is on the right side, which is more towards my back and probably more uncomfortable to reach for my phone, I would most likely have my phone in this pocket, which is suited and it's cut to size to, to a phone. So it would lay nicely there. So it's, it'll be an each easier reach for me to grab the phone from this pocket. Um, and then of course I'm gonna have this in the front. I would have preferred to have that See, now that my now if I put a charm, it's gonna be on my back side. So this bag, let's switch it around. And I'm gonna go against my my usual grain, and I'm gonna put this on my right shoulder to my left side of my hip. And this is what it will look like. So this is what it will look like. So if you are an addictionista that like to wear your bags uh, crossbody. Uh, with the strap on your right uh, right side with the bag on your left hip then this bag is for you because you will have this uh, ring here and you'll be able to get your put your charm your hand sanitizer and you also will be able to reach your phone see with no problem so for me it kind of feels weird because I, I normally do not wear bags this way so I don't know if I'll be able to adjust to this uh so this bag right now for as much as i love it i mean it, you know i did pay 19 dollars. i wouldn't have paid 60 dollars, and i probably wouldn't have kept it for 60 dollars just because of this it's just backwards you know it's backwards for me but again if you are from right to uh left then it's perfect for you the color is gorgeous i think it is such a pretty pretty color i love that rich orchid so i wanted to see what the rich orchid was about i wanted to see what this uh crossbody uh sling bag was about because i've seen it in other colors but now i know for me personally for me it's not a bag that i am going to repurchase only because of the the way it, it sits you know left left to right and although i could get away with this i mean i, I would use it if I don't give this, you know, for the holidays to one of my nieces, then I will, uh, if I end up using it, then this is the way I will use it. But I would prefer, of course, the other way. So 
not not bad so this is a crossbody uh sling it's beautiful it is in that uh reimagine which is really the um recycled cotton that they use and the fabric is actually very nice it's a very nice fabric as you can see and it's something that you probably if you did get it dirty I think you could uh, easily spot clean this bag and I would also dare say you can throw this in the wash and wash it as well let me also show you the bottom to this it has a very uh, very small depth to the bag I would say it's probably like maybe two inches but um, you know it is a, a sling bag so it's made to lay flat on your bag uh, rather on your on your side but really really cute so yeah so this is the uh, crossbody uh, sling in rich orchid all right so let's move on to the last three items of my uh, haul which basically is all in the same pattern this pattern I, I found look at this pattern I thought it was really really cute so let's dive in and start off with this small item which uh, happens to be it's somewhere around here I don't know if you can see that right there but this is the compact travel cosmetic case which it looks to be a relatively newer style from the previous cosmetic cases from the factory um, outlet stores and sure enough there it is and this pattern let me just start off with the pattern right there it is called a uh, stellar paisley this is really pretty. Number one, I'm drawn to this uh, pattern because the simplicity, simplicity of this pattern, which is your black base with white paisley. That's it, white and black. <laughs> I thought it's like, wow, this is really nice. You can wear this pretty much with anything that you have on and get away with it. So it's not like that, you know, busy, colorful, with you know patterns that we do love but sometimes we want some some calmness and simplicity in our wardrobe as well so that's why I pulled for this one so yeah so this triple not triple oh yeah it is uh, no it's not it's called a compact travel case I'm thinking I'm looking at something else so this uh, cosmetic case is oh this is actually pretty new too it is uh, number one it's lined inside so with every factory outlet um, item there will always be a solid interior with the vb diamond uh, lining it's never going to be an, a different pattern it's always going to be a solid with the diamond that's that's the way you could tell that it's a factory outlet uh, uh made for factory outlets and this is a very nice size it's a decent size it's not too big at all it's just like a perfect little size well yeah yeah i would say little because i know they have medium which will be bigger but it's a really nice uh perfect size it does have the um zipper that plastic coated zipper and it has a vera Brelli, uh fabric zipper pull as well and it shuts very very nicely and i do like that it's a plastic line so you can put anything in here and um wipe it clean so that's a nice option to have and i know there's some addictinistas out there that if you're not fond of the plastic with um, very careful surgery, you can just cut this out. Um, yeah, you could cut it out if you wanted to and just have it with the fabric inside. But the fabric is that nylon um, interior. So I already know, I'd rather just keep this plastic because I can obviously clean that and everything. So yeah, so this uh, cosmetic case, I'm very happy that I got it because I'm hoping that I can use it with a lot of my black maybe totes things of that nature that I could just you know put that in there all right so the next item this is an item that we pretty much all have and if you're starting out with Vera Bradley this is probably the one that I would tell you to go with first because they do offer this style in the factory outlet and also in, in Vera signature stores they do offer this and this is called the hipster the hipster has been around forever and the hipster at, will have I can't even imagine they will retire the hipster at all. There will be such an outrage. The hipster is here to stay. So I have a few of the hipsters. So I figure, well, let me play it safe with the pattern because I, again, I really like this black and white simplicity of this pattern. And I said, well, I'm gonna get the hipster because I know I do use the hipster. And here is the tag right there. So you can see the hipster stellar paisley. 
And how adorable is this? And let me tell you, I, the one thing I like about the hipster a lot is it, lay, it lays flat. Like you get it like this, it's like a flat pancake. But when you fill it up, it 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 it, it becomes this, it has this personality that you just really appreciate having it on. Every time I wear the hipster, I just love the way it looks on me. And you can wear a crossbody, and sometimes I'll wear it over the shoulder, and I just love it equally either way how you wear it it looks great so if you're not familiar with the hipster it's pretty much as you can see like a sort of like a square bag it does have in the front the slip in pocket which even the uh retail the signature vera does also offer it's pretty much the same with the pocket in the front i think the only difference is um it might be a slight difference i can't recall but i think it might be the zipper in the back but this has the slip in pocket in the front plus you get an additional pocket that has the zipper which is cool because if you want to of course put something in here and you you're afraid that you might lose it or anything well you have this zipper uh obviously for uh closure and it keeps everything in that pocket uh well protected it does have the uh faux leather vera bradley uh, tag right there which is really really nice and then the back side has the zipper as well so you get a zipper pocket again it has that uh, uh vb diamond uh solid in this case it's like a dark gray yes yeah, a dark gray lining which is perfect for this i'm glad it's not a black lining uh i would have been very sad had it been a black lining because you know you can't see inside black bags. It's just like too dark. You need a flashlight. So I can I can do with with gray, which the gray is very very nice. All right, so it does have the zipper in the back, and like I said, it's a very, you know it's a flat silhouette. It almost reminds me probably of the original sling bag because it's like a sling bag, messenger bag, all combined together. Very comfortable. You can fill it up. It does you know it is um, it fabric so it does take the shape of whatever you put in there you can put um, it, you know your wallets your keys you can put your phone uh, in the back if you want or you can probably place your phone I think the phone well no the phone is kind of if you have a tall phone it's gonna stick out but it's nice to have this pocket no less if you need to put your phone there for a split second and you can put your keys but it's really really nice and then their strap let me pull out the strap on this it's always in the same pattern and one thing um, I do like about Vera is their uh, hardware so it says Vera Bradley right there and it has the uh, a square ring uh, rectangular ring rather right there and let me just also show you the pattern let me just give you so you can see the detail of the stellar paisley it is so cute I really really like this pattern a lot and has a big old paisley <laughs> right there i just noticed in the middle of the bag it's like a star starry night that painting so that is cute all right so you have the strap which is fully adjustable and actually in its shortest length let me just show you at its shortest this is how it looks on the shoulder just like this at the shortest length, which is how I normally would wear it. I normally wear it on the shortest because I like to have my bags, you know, close to me. So this is how I wear it. I have a gray shirt and look how pretty this color looks with this. I think it is perfect. Really, really nice. So that is cute. Let me also show you the inside. First, I'll start off with the zipper. The zipper is that uh, coated, black coated zipper. And it does have the Vera Bradley uh, signature pull and it closes usually fine i think there's a tag here let's see this one oh this one has a little snap or something oh no it's close fine it just has a little string or something so let me not play with it because i think there's a little something there so but it'll it'll close with no problem the inside does offer two uh slip in pockets or one no two slip in pockets and this is really nice i think this is actually a little different that they put this trim i don't remember the trim but something I noticed now. So it does have that trim there. And then on the other side, you have nothing as well. So no zipper pocket there, which is fine because if there was a zipper pocket, if there was a zipper pocket here, then it would just only interfere with 
whatever you put here. So I like that. I like that, you know, you're not fighting for the, for the real estate space inside this bag. So yeah, so this is the hipster in um, Stella Paisley. Really, really cute. Oh, and let me just put it real quickly so that you can see what it looks like as a crossbody, which um, I will do right now. And usually with these straps, they are very, I would say not hard, but you know, they do need to be break, broken in, which is fine because I don't want, obviously, I wouldn't want flimsy straps to begin with because obviously with time, these straps can fray. So it's it's gonna last, these straps are gonna last you for quite some time because they're really made well. All right, so it's really short. I have it like really, really short, but I just wanna give you a visual of how this would look like if you decided to wear this as a crossbody. Obviously you will wear it longer, but this is what it would look like. So how cute is that? Yep, so that is the hipster um, in this pattern, which I love and I'm, really happy that I did pick this up. All right, Dick Denistas, uh, the video probably looks different now because I had to turn on the light. I started this PSA when the sun was setting <laughs> and it kind of got dark in here. After a while, I said to myself, I think I should turn on the light because eventually this PSA is gonna end up in, in the complete darkness and I don't think you guys would appreciate seeing this, especially this is a dark <laughs> color bag. So let's continue with our haul, with the light on, which now you'll probably get to see Stella Paisley in the last item that I picked up. All right, so the last and final item of my haul from the factory outlet store happens to be the triple compartment uh, bag, which this is new because I don't have any triple compartment. And actually, Vera on the signature side also offers a bag similar to this. So this is like a, a newer style that Vera has come out with as of lately, uh, which they added to their line. So this bag, let's just take this out of the plastic for starters. And let me just also show you the tag right here. It's right there. So that's a triple compartment uh, shoulder bag in Stella Paisley and I'm really excited to see this bag because like I said I don't have this bag I do I think the closest and last uh, actually the last bag that I picked up from Vera was the Java Camo Navy which was the multi uh, strap bag so yeah so that was like the newest one of the newest uh, designs that they put in their line so this it would be like the second and I've been eager to see this like look how pretty this is how cute is that and I just noticed is that some blue that I see I don't know it looks like there's some blue in there which I'm surprised because oh, maybe there is blue in there oh yeah see what happens when you turn on the light <laughs> things change but I don't know but it does have a bit of blue well, it looks like blue, yeah. Or maybe like a dark gray. It's very odd. But as you can see, there's like that third color in here. So yeah, so anyway, let's get back to the bag. This is the triple compartment shoulder bag. And it is what exactly what it is, which this is such a common style. This always reminds me of course, Coach, because if you buy Coach, you know, Coach has a bag like this as well. And a lot of uh, designers actually got into this triple compartment style, which is really nice because I think it's a very versatile, organized way to carry things with these triple compartments. So I really like this. So let's first uh, look at the strap. So it comes with this strap. Now this strap, I believe, let's try it on for size, just so that you can see. I think it's an 11 inch, um, looks like an 11 inch strap. So yeah. It fits fine, and I have actually a, a hoodie on. I don't know with a coat how it might, like if you have an oversized puffer coat, it might be a little tight depending how, um, I mean, if you're, if, of course, tiny, then you'll probably have more more space there to use. But um, if, you, if you're already kind of full, like I am on the top like this, then with a coat, it might be a little, uh, a bit of a, a bit tight but it depends on the coat i think if you have a regular jacket it will fit just fine 
All right, so let's start with the base. It has a really nice wide base. And of course, I'm gonna put the measurements of the bag on screen so you can see the size to this bag. And that is your, uh, the depth right there, which is a really nice size depth. And the bottom, this is, I would say, it has like a very minimal soft cardboard in there, just probably to give it its shape but not something that you, you know, obviously you're gonna put, it's not gonna really like hold things up. I don't, you know, it's just to, really just to give it a, a shape to the bag. All right, so let's dive in. So I see you have two uh, magnetic closures on each side. So it does have that VB lining as well on one and then the VB lining on the other side. And it's a really nice size bag. Like, let me just show you. Yeah, it goes from the entire bag. So it's, yeah, very roomy. You could definitely put in here your phone, keys, a lot of, a lot of tchotchkes can go in there. I do have, let me see, if I was to put the cosmetic case just for a visual effect, if I put that in there, that's what it looks like in, the, in that bag, in that pocket. So it does fit. So if I wanted to use this and put it in here, it does uh, close shut and it does fit in there with no problem. So yeah, so that's cute. Let's take this out. And yeah, and then I'm looking at the this little closure. So it is separate from the back. So it's not tacked on. It is um, obviously, as you can see, loose, which is in a way is good because if you do fill up the bag a lot, you can kind of give yourself a little extra room there, which you see how that goes? That's that's actually pretty good. I like that. That way you don't break your fabric and it's not gonna limit what you put in here because you, it gives you a little bit of room to kind of stuff the bag. And this side as well, it's not tacked on. It has this like a uh, like piece of fabric um, on it as well. So not bad, not bad at all. And then let me just show you the middle of the bag. The middle has this zipper as well with the Vera Bradley um, zipper pull. And then when you open this up, oh, Addictinistas, it's a dual, it's a kiss. I like that already. I didn't even realize it. It is a, a double zipper, so that is really nice. Usually I don't see that in Vera. Uh, I think this is probably the first time that I've probably seen Vera Bradley do a double, I call it a double kiss a zipper. Uh, yeah, so I'm really, and especially for factory outlet, that is not bad. All right, so let's open this up. Look at the inside, lots of room. I can show you now in the light, the interior, uh, pattern the uh, lining to this bag which is like that gray it's like a really it's a very a, a true gray color it looks lighter with the light but when I'm looking at it in person it's a very uh, rich deep uh, gray color like you could tell it's gray uh, it does have two slip-in pockets I want to say they're full size um, by any means they remind me of, like those little t-shirt pockets if anything, so it's like a really nice place to put maybe your hand sanitizers or or maybe your keys you can put in there. And then on this side, you do have a pretty, it looks like to be a pretty big zipper pocket. Let's see how big this zipper is. This pocket goes, it goes to the bottom, yeah, it goes to the bottom of the back. And it goes from the, from the size of the zipper. So it doesn't really go all the way out here, but rather it's more concentrated in the middle of the bag which is fine. And then here's your bottom base inside, which it looks like you have plenty of room. And let me see, is this uh, detachable? Sometimes you can remove these things. This one is not. This is actually tacked on. I just take a look. Yeah, it's tacked on on both sides. So you wouldn't be able to remove this if you wanna wash the bag, but because it's not like a very big thick piece of, um, of of paper or whatever they use in there. I, I, it would, I don't think it would really do too much damage. I think it'll still hold if you decided to wash the bag, if you had to wash the bag. 
So this is really cute. I have to say, I do like Stellar Paisley. Let me just grab real quickly now because I have the light on the hipster. And let's uh, also, I want to see if there's any blue as well. I'm trying to look in the on the phone. See, this one doesn't have that much pronounced blue. Or well, maybe it does, like right there. But I don't think it's blue. And I have to apologize because it, it's just the lighting. But it's a, I would say it's like a dark gray. It just comes out blue in the light. So, Addictinistas, it's not, it's not blue. No, it, it's funny how it looks blue, but it's not. It's actually very dark gray. So you have a combination of black, white, and this really solid dark gray color, which uh, that's how it comes out across in the back. So I really like this bag and I really look forward to using this. And again, it's like a, a, a color that's just in a, in a pattern that's just gonna match with a lot of my, my stuff. So I hope to go into this bag very soon because it's really nice and I could definitely get a lot of use out of this. And I can see myself, this bag, I can see myself getting more of. And this bag normally retails uh, the price 109 that's what they put it out there for 109 but with the discount with that sale i actually got this for um 26 dollars 95 cents which is a really good deal so just so that you know so sometimes uh the outlet stores will have these sales like 70 percent off and you might even get it for less so you will see addictinistas me grab at least i would say two more of these depending on the pattern um, I'm trying not to get too much into that pattern frenzy because it the last it was giving me a headache so I had a I had to control myself but no less I'm really happy that I when I you know obviously diving back I dive back into this and I'm gonna put my little uh, cosmetic case because I think that cosmetic case fits really nicely in that bag and that's definitely going to go hand in hand uh, with this bag so yeah, so Addictinis says that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully short and sweet. And um, I like everything I got. I'm on the fence with that crossbody sling because of the way, you know, it, it falls. I would have preferred more, you know, suited to how I wear it. But no less, it's a really nice bag, great color. And uh, yeah, and actually today, uh, I am on Vera's signature retail website because they're having a sale again. They're having a, and it's a good one. It's it's actually, you get one, uh, if you buy one item, you get 20% off, two items, 25% off. And if you buy uh, three items, 30% off. And you know where your girl's headed. She's headed, I went straight to the 30%. So three goodies at, at the least <laughs> ready to come to me this week. And that I'm really excited because those, um, it's a solid color that I'm in love with when I saw it. And there's a, uh, it's a new pattern on, on another. Plus, it's, it's like, like a new bag as well for me, which I'm looking forward to uh, seeing that as well. And, uh, and as far as Lug, I have a few stuff in Lug. But, you know, me and Lug, we're not friends. We're not, we're not becoming friends anymore. I'm going to have to do a separate PSA about Lug because Lug is, uh, it's become, they, they're getting on my nerves lug is getting on my nerves and it has to do with lug live and i thought i would just put it out there because addictinesis you know you, you come here you look at my stuff and i also give you where i buy things and i just want to say um normally i will put my lug live information but lug live has not been uh nice lately with their shipping it has been like a three ring circuits over there so i wouldn't want to uh, direct anyone to that direction because it has been so frustrating with lug so me and lug were having like like a tiff and i'm trying to keep my cool although i do have two lug items coming in the mail but they're coming from qvc and qvc will ship my lug item within days whereas lug live it's we're talking about weeks it's been weeks and it's really unacceptable all right, Dick Denistas, enough of that. Thank you, thank you for stopping by, checking out this latest haul. My back to Vera, because me and Vera, we haven't had... My last Vera was actually the Java Navy camel, now that I remember. 
So yeah, it was uh, really nice. And I like the way I broke it in with the Stella Paisley because I like the Stella Paisley. Like that's a pattern. And I, I, I like these single. I have patterns like in pink and blue, like this single, which I tend to keep. And it becomes uh, ultimately one of my favorite uh, patterns and styles within my collection. Anyway, Dick Titties, again, thank you for stopping by, checking this out. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I will catch you soon. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have so so many, but it's either part. I, I, it might be a lug um, um, bagging when I get from QVC because those are like two very new items from lug. Although I am mad at lug at this point. Like if lug was a person, I would beat him down. Like I literally would beat him down. But... It doesn't take away from the fact that Lux still has some nice bags and some nice. And these two, I'm really excited to get because um, I'm sure it's going to be fabulous. All right, the videos is enough rambling on. Thank you again for stopping by. Until the next one, stay safe, be well, love one another. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for hanging out with me. And of course, I will see you below. Uh, in the comment section if not i will catch you uh on the next psa so until then take care bye